Hello friends, welcome to part 36 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on Ultra Difficulty, and this is kind of like a part 2 to make his end. Um, what we did was in the last episode, we infiltrated a dig site, a massive dig site. <laughs> and it was just full of um, cultists and eclipse or whatever they call themselves. Anyway, we took care of them. It was a bit... Kind of scary, actually, guys. Um, but anyway, we sorted it out. We fought a Deathbringer. Um, I'm sure we get to fight more of them later on. But um, when I watched the footage back, I think they were repairing it. That's why it couldn't move. 355,510 days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Farrell. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000... That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Uh, uh Aloy, you and me both. I I'm just... Anyway, uh, let me just do this before oh, any more dialogue comes. Guys, this, this game is blowing me away. It really is. Okay, so the door opened for Aloy. It was one of those doors that we found back in the Embrace, and Aloy couldn't enter. They well, well, the computers keep calling her Doctor Sobek. So I'm like, what the hell? But anyway, guys, we're now here. We're going to explore this place. So this will be part two to make us end. I'm just totally floored by the story so far. Um, I don't know what to expect, and that's making me nervous, but very excited as well. <laughs> what the hell happens here, guys? All right. Anyway. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, guys, you've got to be kidding. Guys, I couldn't see anything. Jesus. <laughs> Piece of shit. Let me just go back up here. Look, it was all, like, bright. I couldn't see nothing. I thought it was, like, a corridor. Oh, whatever. Anyway, drop to ledge. Right, that's what we were supposed to do, but... Um... Guys, I'm going to search everywhere because i i just need more information let's start here the quest thing is telling me to go this way right but let's start here all right nothing is a dead end unless that opens nope that's a dead end all right let's try this room i guess right that's where we came out of Oh, check it out. What's this? <laughs> All right, nice. Okay. So in a place that's been locked away for hundreds of years, why would there be Ridgewood <laughs> in there? Anyway, don't question it, Rune Bear. Just take it. Oh, uh, voice recording. Check it out. What's this mean? Entangled waveforms. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to black court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the hearts team or swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Guys, this is insane man anyway let's keep going i don't even want to speculate i'll let the story kind of unfold i thought it was aliens <laughs> right if you've been following my playthrough i thought um it may have been aliens invaded earth but i think i'm wrong about that oh come on there has to be more oh god damn it i think it was just that guys all right let's keep looking around there must be other things Okay, so we we came out of there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, again, it wants me to go there, but... 
Ah, no, there's nowhere else to go. It's just here then. Right, anything there? No. Okay, give me a sec, guys. Just looking for any hidden anything, you know? Alright, here we go. Alright, that's a dead end. Fine. Okay, I'm not going to go there yet. Let's go here first. Alright, check it out. Okay, more loot, which is great. Come on. Another recording. Something to read. Anything. Anything. Come on, please. Ah, shit. I don't think there's anything here, guys. Oh, stop it, Aloy. Jesus. She keeps on climbing over shit. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. All right. Let's try here. Uh, by the way, I love the music. The ambient music in the back. It's so cool. There's really nothing here. Are you kidding me? Is it just for the loot? Oh, sorry guys. Look, if there is something in this room and I haven't seen it, please let me know. No, that's nothing. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh well, I tried. I tried. Okay. A or a statue of one, anyway. What? Welcome to Ferro Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Faro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Wow, guys. Jesus. So, this Ted Farrow guy is kind of like Tony Stark. He builds weapons. Actually, sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm lost in my mind at the moment. Welcome to Ferro Automated oh. Solutions. I think it's just the same thing. All right, again, today. the game's telling With me to go there. Sorry, sorry, lady. <laughs> okay, I just want to have a look around. Oh, uh, check it out. Sorry, because of that. All right, reception log. Um, okay. All right, again, if you don't want to see this, guys, just um, skip ahead. I'll leave it in the timestamp. Reception log, 9.54 a.m. Field Commandant Dang of the Indo-Malay agricultural combine arrived with his delegation refreshments to be served before their 10 15 a.m sales presentation on the chariot line per instructions food will be vegetarian only 10:07 a.m sander agnew vice president of territorial integrity from fresh grounds coffee global arrived with his entourage Refreshments to be served before their 10.30 a.m. sales re uh, presentation on the chariot line per instructions will use fresh grounds Tacoma blends, no artificial creamers. <laughs> okay, 10.12 a.m. Uh, so that happened. Call security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. 
actually more like thrown, <laughs> okay? I wasn't aware that the Indo-Malay Combine grows coffee beans and that Fresh Grounds acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly, Jesus. I think Commandant Dane and Agnew by the hair for a had had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. Oh gosh, that's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> um alright. Alright, let's keep going, guys. Was there a door here? No. Okay, let's go. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. All right, guys, this I am really interested in reading all this. And as usual, if you're not interested, skip ahead. I leave everything in timestamps. But I need to read this, so tough shit. <laughs> all right, data points, I think. Um, okay, where would I find all this? Right, here we go. I think this is it. All Good Things was right at the beginning of the game. Okay, bio Elizabeth Sobek. Oh, this isn't too bad. It's not that long. Anyway, Elizabeth Sobek, born March 11th, 2020. Okay, <laughs> it's just a few years ago, guys. Is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer. Widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13. What? Earning a BS, Bachelor of Science, is that what that means? In experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She's really clever, my God. She completed a PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest supplier of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Okay, next is Ted Farrow. Right, Theodore Ted Farrow, born December 24th, Christmas Eve, <laughs> 2013, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. He is the founder of Farrow Automated Solutions, FAS the largest corporation of all time, okay, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire, Jesus, born and raised in Salt Lake City. See, I told you, he's like Tony Stark, isn't he? Utah. He enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s when its popular line of personal servitors and bodyguard bots then exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of that decade, FAS opened a military defence branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of FAS has made Mr. Farrow the world's best-known businessman, one of its most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. So, he's obviously responsible for the Deathbringer? 
and possibly the Corruptor as well. Why are they buried? Just what the hell happened? <laughs> anyway, right, history, FAS. Right, Faro Automated Solutions, FAS, is an American multinational corporate entity that produces robots for all walks of life. Though its core business consists of military and defense contracts, as of 2030, uh, 2063, FAS has ranked number one among the Fortune 5 by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row, a world record. Founded in 2033 by Theodore Ted Farrow, an entrepreneur from, from Salt Lake City, Utah, the company developed several promising robot pro prototypes in its early years but failed to break into markets dominated by then industry giants like General Synthetics and Recor. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the at Alfred line of levitating personal servitors, <laughs> which generated exceptional sales, lifting the company onto the Fortune 50 for the first time. So you got floating uh, butler robots, I guess. <laughs> um, profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Sobeck, catapulted FAS to the head of that sector. In 2049, in the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts around the globe, worldwide approval ratings of F FAS exceeded 90%, and founder Ted Farrow was hailed across media and social networks as the man who saved the world. I think that should have been Elizabeth Sobeck, but anyway. Yet it was the emergence of FAS as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation. With a record market capitalization of over 23 trillion, my goodness, by 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for automated military platforms, holding contracts with 353 nations, transgovernmental organizations, and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation, FB Moby Hal Global, by 321%. So they're pretty successful, Jesus. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Definition corporation. Corporation. <laughs> okay. I'm just reading that line underneath corporation now. An association of individuals um, created under authority of law, having existence, powers, and liabilities distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, a corporation is usually owned by shareholders. Through the sale of distribution of stock, who profit from such ownership, vote at designated times for its governance and designate executives who run its affairs. Most corporations engage in one or more industries to produce goods or offer services for profit and may in turn own other corporations, companies or property as holdings. Uh, what about this? Oops. Reception. Oh, I've already read that. Okay. Wow, guys, this is a lot. This is a lot to take in. Did you get all that Aloy? <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Okay, the game wants us to go there, but we're going to go here. Come on, please be something. Oh, guys, really? Come on, game. Right, screw you then. Right, whatever. <laughs> okay, right, there's another room. There's actually two rooms. There's that. Uh, no, that's not a room. God damn it. All right, just this one then. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm just looking really... Oh, stop climbing, Aloy. Jesus. I'm just trying to search everything because I don't want to... I don't want to leave without. Ah, there we are. Check it out. R&D lab retooling. Now, I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? 
All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Because I am so confused but really intrigued. And what's this about a swarm? What does that mean? A swarm. Black quartz, milit above military grades. That's all I can kind of remember from the... Something went wrong. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's just keep going. All right. I'm a little sad it's not aliens. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's keep going up. Because this is so sick. I, I love this. <laughs> you have no idea. I love this. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Um, okay. Yeah, I was going to say the diamond thing was going this way, but I've already come from there. All right. It wants me, again, it wants me to go there, but let me explore something else. Is this even anything here? Wait, uh, hold on, guys. Okay, wait. Uh, am I supposed to go here? I don't understand. Come on, come on, give me something, please. <laughs> please, game. Please, Gorilla Games. Oh, wait, what's this? All right, good. At least we've got some stuff. Hey, why can't I collect that? Okay, we've got full potions, that's why. Come on, there has to be something, a recording, something, please. Wait, what's that? No, god damn it. No, there's nothing here. God damn it, man. But hey, we found loads of supplies, so that's fine, I guess. Okay, all right, go this way. What's in there? <laughs> all right, whatever. Okay, oh, check it out. Okay, it's not voice recording. Okay, RE complaint. Okay, from J Friedkin to reception. Subject, RE. Uh, RE, sorry. <laughs> RE. <laughs> RE complaint. Hey, reception. If that is your real name, want to know who's sh uh, scheduled Indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident, Jesus, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain. Because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Oh, come on, dude. This guy's an arsehole. Those two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right. Combat machines. <laughs> we want them to hate each other. So they will try to fight each other with what? That's right again combat machines <laughs> which they will pay us a lot of money for so i suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my munch uh, munch <laughs> much more complicated job um thanks a bunch mr friedkin to you mr friedkin you're an arsehole <laughs> but that was a, a great email all right all right anyway so that was purposely done just to get more money. Sad. Okay, then. But I could get through. Alright, again, it's telling me to go there, but is there anything here? No, there's not. That's a dead end. Yeah, what I was going to say earlier, guys. Sorry, what's happening? 
This thing is not moving. Yeah, what I was trying to say was, um, I enjoy this, exploring, unraveling a mystery, you know, uncovering things, and, you know, it's not always about, you know, very tough fights and... Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know what? I'm going to shut up, guys. <laughs> okay, all right, let's just um, keep exploring. Hey, what's this? Oh, no, this is the uh, Deathbringer. This is where we were before. So, what does it want me to do? Okay, check it out. Looks like I can climb here. All right. <laughs> okay, hope there's no more surprises. Okay, there's a yellow thing. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, there's something up there. Wait, how do I get that? Hold on, guys. Sorry, one second. Give me a moment. I won't be long. Just trying to... Oh, come on. There has to be a way up there. Ugh. All right, never mind. Never mind. Oh, guys, that sucks. I really want to get that thing there. How do I get to it? Jesus. Oh, guys, that sucks. I really want it. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Time skip ahead. Let me work on this. I just want to try and get that thing. Uh, hey guys, okay, I think I found it. I accidentally dropped down by accident, but there was a ramp here, uh, thankfully. It's actually this. It's probably nothing special, but, you know, I just want it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's probably a potion. Okay, I can't fit that. Alright. Alright, hey guys. Okay, again... It's telling me to go here, but I'm going to explore everything here. Yeah, it's not always about, you know, having high-octane tough fights. Sometimes it's just, you know, enjoying an adventure. I hope I'm making sense. I'm just talking from a gameplay perspective, you know? Alright, check it out. Something here. Okay, um, FAS Campus Log. FAS campus security log, high priority alert, automated log note, all non-essential systems have entered hibernation. High priority alert, automated log note, full lockdown has been initiated. Jesus. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we have taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. HiSec and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. High priority alert. Okay, uh, priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. A reminder that while high sec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identity scan. Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for identity scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a 
Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from off-site. Sign-up is required and strongly encouraged. 48 more entries in high priority, additional entries corrupted. I wonder what happened there. People were protest. People were oh. Faro at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Okay. Did I leave this? Sorry. Yeah, I did. My bad. Okay. So we. Okay. There's another thing in there. I can see it. What about this? All right, nothing here. Okay, check it out, guys. There's another one. Um, all right, just that. Okay, just this. Right, spiritual summit. From Ted Farrow to Paula Va Vasara. Subject, spiritual summit. Paula. Recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I and FAS in general, have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. What the hell? I'd like, to, I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon, very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no cooks, no kooks, sorry, and, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear, we'll spare no expense. Thanks, Ted. Hmm. All right, grab this. I can't carry more. Okay, that's closed off. Uh, did I... No, it's closed off as well. And one more thing. Okay, sorry guys, just give me a sec. I'm just getting a bit lost. Okay, so that's where we came out of. We need to go there. So we need to be here. And this is a massive place, Jesus. Oh my god, this is going to take me a while. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's start in the middle here. What is this? Hollow projector, okay. Alright, there's three of them. Let's have a look. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. I was actually about to say that. It looks like a Deathbringer. Um, wow. Guys, this is blowing my mind. Alright, what's next? The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. 
They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Guys, that's insane. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't. Oh, damn it. I can't go to the normal map. You know those um, spidery squid things? I've been saying since the beginning of the playthrough, it was such a mystery to me. What is that? It's obviously a machine, obviously. But so this is it. Because I was going to say we've never encountered this before. So that's what they are. And they can self-replicate. Did I read that correctly? Um, well, Aloy said it as well. They can manufacture more of themselves. Did it get out of hand? But why are they buried? What, <laughs> what happened? Jesus. Why are we still here? Why are humans still here? All right, next one. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Corrupted. Force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions, from 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models, and you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Guys, this is insane, man. <laughs> oh my god. So this all originated from Ted Farrow and his company. Alright, guys, I have to give me a second. I have to find some more. There has to be more. Come on, come on. All right, there's nothing else here, guys. I tried. I don't... Well, I don't think so. One more quick check there. No, nothing. All right, let's move on. I think that's it now. All right, let's have a look. I'm a bit nervous. What's left of it? Okay. Can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. All right, guys, let's keep going. Oh, sorry, my mind is just a riot right now. Uh, okay, do I keep going up or shall I try here? I don't know. Let's let's try here, guys. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where to go. All right, tell you what. Let's keep going up this way, and then I'll I'll go here afterwards. Maybe I don't know. I'll try and remember it. Although, there could be a, a secret down there. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Never mind. Cold. Can't let myself stiffen up. Uh, what do I do here? Oh gosh, I don't want to die. Hang on, let's do a running start. Oh, come on, Aloy. Oh, Jesus, Aloy scared me. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, hold on, what's down here, though? What? Wait, where am I? Oh, hang on, is this... Okay, I think I know where this is. This is that place I wanted to go through first 
I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I think it is. It's just an alternate route. I have a feeling. Okay, what's that? <gasps> Check it out. Regarding the rumors. This the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Guys. Okay. All right. So the Corruptors, the Metal Devil... The Deathbringers, they stopped listening to humans and they turned against humans. So that's what the only thing I can think of. <laughs> this, this is blowing my mind. Jesus. Okay. All right. Um, what do I do? Where do I go? All right. Supply box. Anything here? I'd have to leave something else behind. It's just rocks. I don't need that. Guys, I wonder what's here. Let me just check on the map. Oh, for God's sake, I can't look at it. Okay, never mind. Um, all right, let's just keep going. Or do I go here? I'm confused. No, I don't see any handholds. Here, maybe? Yes, yellow thingies. All right, here we go. What the hell? What do I do now? <laughs> Guys, what do I do now? Oh, jeez, I don't want to fall off. My God. Um, hold on one second. Something's gone wrong here. Oh my god, seriously, dude. What? Sorry, am I missing? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. Okay, my bad. Sorry, I didn't see this. My bad. All right, let's drop here. Okay, check it out. All right, let's um, grab this. I don't want to miss out on any more recordings or anything. What's that? Oh, wait, let me get that real quick. Okay, nothing there. God, sorry I'm so quiet. I'm just taking this all in. It's it's fascinating. <laughs> this is it's incredible. I had no idea this game was gonna be like this. Anyway, let's get Aloy inside. She's very cold. <laughs> Alright, what's happening here? Okay, let's jump here, I guess. Is there anything below us? Oh, there could be. It could be a secret, but I'll have a look in a minute. Oh, shit. How do I do this? Wait, 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 wait. Check it out. Almost missed this. Right, all hands on deck. Okay. Right, from Gordon Nakata to Gina Zierman. Subject, all hands on deck. Gina, ever hear of the Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I, until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently, there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2700, 27, all of whom hate us. 
Now that a stray heart team or unit is chowing down on their largest mango orchid. What? That brings the official count of heart team or related lawsuits to 127. Most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nation states and NGOs. I don't know what that means. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hearts itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Gordon Nakata, Associate General Counsel, FAS. Mango? Why would a machine chow down on mango? Am I not getting that? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know, guys. Alright, anyway, let's go here. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay, don't die, please. Okay, good. I'm also tempted to go to that room there because I'm sure there's something there, but I'll have a look afterwards. If I remember. Oh, again, what do I do? Okay, let's start here first. I can't spare the weight. Okay, I can either go up or down. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go here, guys. Let's just take a risk. All right, did I miss anything? No. All right, let's keep going. Now what? Okay, that's just surprise. Guys, it's very haunting. I don't know if I'm making any sense. This is very haunting. Oh, come on. There has to be another recording. It has to be. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, here we go. Guys, this goes up and up forever. Okay, there's something there. How do I... Alright, drop to ledge. Oh my god, this is insane. Look how high up we are. My goodness. Alright, there's a supply box. Check it out. Hey. Forget about traveling light. Okay, fine. Um, all right, let's go this way. Uh, here. Uh, what? Oh, up here. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Come, there has to be something. Right, check it out. Something here. Right, this is called uh, Banda C Incident. From Stacey Anders to Robert Rescher, subject dolphin vid. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a Hearts Timor Horus unit refueling via biomass conversion along the shoreline of P Pulau Weta on a pod of endangered dolphins. No way! Oh my god, am I reading that right? Okay, I get it. Biomatter conversion. So they can eat organic material to refuel. Is that right? Okay, whatever. On a pot of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. God damn it. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender. <laughs> Guys, that's, that's awful. Come on, man. As if the robot was whipping up a pink, a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. 
Jesus. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating. So it's only a matter of time bef before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Yeah, you don't say, Jesus. Stacey Anders, VP, PR, FAS. <laughs> God, that's horrible, man. You've got to be kidding. Anyway. <laughs> wow, guys. I never expected this game to be like this. It's a lot richer and deeper than I thought, you know? Her way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right. Let's go, guys. All right. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Oh, we're, all right. We're supposed to go there. Hang on, guys. Let me just go up here real quick. What's this? Okay. Guys, look how high we are. Jesus. <laughs> I'm scared to look down. I actually have a chronic fear of heights, guys. I'm not exaggerating. It gets really bad. Like, um, I should get vertigo even looking at stuff like this. I know it's a video game, but I just get that horrible sinking feeling in my stomach. All right, here we go. Keep going. Oh, shit. Maybe this is how we exit. Maybe I'm here prematurely. But there's something here. Power cell, guys. Check it out. Finding these power cells. What do they do? Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. I've totally forgot about this. Look, we've got a quest here. Um, Right. Guys, I just forgot about this. I'm going to be honest with you totally forgot about it um now you guys said at the beginning of my playthrough i need to collect all of these and then i can do this quest but this is a level 25 can i not go there now let me know please in the comments but anyway i'm collecting all of these let me know how many more i've got to collect so i'll be much more uh, sorry much appreciated all right do i take the <laughs> guys i hope this doesn't take me outside of the building because I'll be pissed off. All right, where am I? Oh, thank God. We're still here, guys. I thought it was going to take me outside of this place. I would have been pissed. All right, anyway. Okay, another supply. No room. All right, anything else? Just before I drop down. So I guess we're at the very top of the building now. Okay, give me a minute. All right, just some stuff. We're good. Okay, fine. All right, let's see what this is. Data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch. In the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another has been recovered. Guys, 
<laughs> this is nuts. Okay. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. Oh my god. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. But we're still... Friend, all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. Exactly. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Sorry, I, I was actually going to... Oh, Jesus. All right, I was actually going to say that, guys. We're still here, and what the hell are these other robots doing here? I don't get it. <laughs> so, listen, this is so fascinating. You have no idea. I am loving every minute of this. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry. Made her solution so terrible. What did she do to stop the robots? So when they Detected disappeared. Express lift opened. Yeah, sorry, when they disappeared, they jump scared me. I don't know why, guys. This is incredible, man. My God. This is insane. I just thought it was going to be a, I don't know, post apocalyptic uh, Let me start again. post apocalyptic I don't know how to bloody pronounce. I can't talk. Guys, I can't talk. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, you know, post-war, uh, post-extinction, um, hunting machines game with tribes i didn't expect all of this this is crazy and it's amazing oh my god it has to be more anyway anyway this, oh this doesn't add up sobek couldn't have been my mother she lived ages ago all this searching and i'm still no closer if that's your reaction to everything you just learned to whine like a spoiled child uh he's got a point you should really try talking that way to me face to face as you wish. Hey! <laughs> Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, 
You have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. He's actually right, guys. In fact, oh, okay. All right. If you're so smart, you don't understand. Oh, funny. Look, I was just thinking the same thing. He's got a point because um, I'm just so fascinated by what's happening right now, what we're uncovering. I don't really give a shit about this guy anymore. <laughs> well, I do give a shit. I want to know more about who he is and why the hell has he managed to hack our focus oh i don't know i see your point all right silence you've made your point i came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this elizabeth sobeck and i have but i still don't understand my connection to her or why the eclipse is trying to kill me or who hades is no answers just one question after another Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed. Exactly. Life, life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Yes. Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? <laughs> I'm done with you. No, hell no. We're going to talk to him. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay. Um. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It didn't seem like a person or a machine more like a phantom with a terrible voice all that's certain is that he wants you dead because of my connection to elizabeth has to be hades is using the eclipse to resurrect feral robots but if elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago if she made special weapons maybe hades is worried i'll do the same thing in some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no, I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind deaf and dumb so quit complaining and answer my questions very well proceed <laughs> well in fairness Aloy has a point also all right guys guys look I've just sorry I, I just realized something you know in the embrace you know those um the matriarch a matriarch sorry the uh whatever they're worshiping all mother was all mother Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Sobek 
and Hades is that the heart team or swarm but you know it's AI uh, whatever am I making sense I'm sorry if I'm not um <laughs> gosh this is just blowing my mind all of this shit anyway whatever uh pharaoh robots you said you've known for some time that pharaoh war machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones the evidence pointed that way but until now i never knew the full scope of their danger that they could process organic matter into fuel or that the horus class could manufacture more robots like a cauldron on legs but the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Ah, oh, so this is insane. So Hades could be the Metal Devil. And all mother is Elizabeth Sobek. This is crazy, man. Anyway. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I'm nothing if not independent. All right, I thought he was from the past for some reason, guys. But anyway, right. Actually, let me ask this. Elizabeth Sobek's still alive. This is what I was thinking as well. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. Wow. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that as well, guys. I want hard evidence. You can speculate all you want all day, but um, unless we have evidence, it's meaningless. Tracking my focus. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? years of study and experimentation in principle it's not so different from how you override machines i override focuses and you can spy through other eclipses focuses too usually all i'll say is that overriding the connections is complicated oh man is that it i actually want to know more anyway i'm done with you <laughs> Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a B.O.R. 7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Um, I actually like him, Aloy. I think I'm being too well, hard at him, to be honest. Be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. US oh, I see. Command next to learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. <sighs> Guys, I've got 50 billion theories going through my head right now, but um, um, oh, I should have done a quick scan. Oh crap, I hope there isn't anything I've missed up there, but I'm sure I'm sure I did collect everything I could, right? Oh my god, jeez, this map. God damn it. There's something there. All done. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. 
yeah i've got so many theories i don't want to say too much because look i could be totally wrong i was wrong about the aliens <laughs> i thought i thought it was genuinely aliens but um there's no aliens in this but it's still super compelling um <laughs> wow what a game man okay and there's a lot to explore here as well um i'll tell you what we'll do um anyway let's rappel down Guys, this has been the most fascinating episode. The Thunderjaw fight was the best fight in the game. But this has been the best narrative-driven episode. It's The story's just blown my mind, honestly. Jesus, Hollywood, take note. Honestly, you need to make more stories and scripts like this. <laughs> I'm just blown away, guys. I don't even know where to start. Honestly. God damn it. This is just crazy. It really is. Oh, okay. So we're done here. Um, Guys, look. We'll leave it there for now. Uh, there's a corrupted place there, but we'll get us some other time. Um, oh, shell walkers. And there's a vantage point, which will be very, very good to get. Anyway, guys, look. Um, My brain is on fire right now, honestly. My mind's formulating ideas and what what could have happened obviously we did destroy the machines right because we're here so we can't be extinct there's animals there's birds there's even insects so what the hell anyway guys look thank you very much for joining me today thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying all this because i am this is nuts it's just gone crazy um i'll see you in the next video guys take care Thank mm -hmm. you.